Hello everybody and welcome to Time for Tea with Tea Lisa. Tonight I will talk with Nalin Moda from Darjeeling. I met Nalin in these issues of 80 Degrees magazine. Uh, he is a tea consultant living in Darjeeling. Um, I was fascinated about his job, his profession, but also I was fascinated about his connection with tea and uh, the work he does and the connection between tea and the human being. Now let's see if we can ask Nalin, um, yes, inviting him. I want to ask uh, what uh, it's the, the, the aim of this profession of really spreading the tea culture around the world and also what uh, is so special about Darjeeling uh, tea um, because it's a very, very special tea in the world. It's called the Champagne of the Teas and um, yeah, we want to understand why it's, uh, it's a special, especially now which is spring and so the so-called first flush um, Darjeeling tea is ready now. And it's a very, very, very nice and special tea. I'm drinking it now. Uh, I don't know if you can see the, the leaf here. Um, I've got it here in the Manfred in Milan. They had a very, very nice Fuguri uh, tea. And here we go. Nalin, hello. Can you hear Hello. Me? Hello. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Wait, let... thank you. What oh. was this? The, the... <laughs> How are you? What's the time in India? Sorry, it should be it should be a little late. Yeah, it is ten thirty. In the night, I see. In the night, ten thirty. So, Here is the evening. They... Perfect tea time for Italian people. <laughs> Yes, thank you very much for waiting for My me pleasure. until now, and uh, thank you. I'm honored to have you as a guest. You are Same here. quite, you are quite with famous. You. you are in several articles about tea, mm. not only 80 Degrees magazine, but I know that you are kind of an um, important figure in the in the in the world of tea here in Europe thank and around the world. Thank you so much. Thank so, you so tell me, you are now in Darjeeling, and what can you a little bit? You know, here we have a lot of tea lovers, but not all of them knows about the tea. Why Darjeeling tea is so famous around the world? Not only the other way around. Yes, mm -hmm. like this. Why Darjeeling tea is so famous and so special? Why it's so different from all the other kind of tea? Can you talk a little bit about that? Explain to me. See, Darjeeling is uh, different than other tea because of the climate, then the soil, soil status, then the cultivar, and the entire area. This area of Darjeeling is having a perfect balance of spiritual and sensual energy. Spiritual is, and sensual. Yeah, both, both energies are equally balanced. Then the elevation is very good. Then the cultivar, pure China seed from China. The pH value of the soil, the rainfall, humidity, and the temperature. So and where, the is where is located exactly? So let's give an image to our... So it's close to Himalaya mountain. Yeah, yeah. It is the third highest mountain you can see without binoculars. Wow. It doesn't so have to use many, any... How many degree high? It is uh, that that mountain is the third third highest in the world, Kanchenjunga, and yeah, Darjeeling is Darjeeling is seven thousand feet. Okay, so so the, the weather, the weather is, is throughout the year you don't have any problem, you don't get sweat, you don't get dust, nothing. Yeah, and and this Garden, is the, per the perfect weather for tea. Yeah, yeah. Very perfect, and gardens are not on 7,000. Garden, there are 87 tea plantations. When Britishers started, they finished 110 tea plantations in 45 years of time. Heads of them. Wow. And then, then it comes to the Indian management and 
unions and problem and now it is 87 tea plantation out of 87 tea plantation still one phera company is there which is very good they are running it like a britishers what so, i mean to say out okay. of 87 tea gardens the average height or average elevation of the plantation is between 4000 to 4500 yes some section some section of the individual tea plantation is very high 5500 feet up to it goes to that i see so let me explain to our follower so the tea yes. plantation of darjeeling are called garden and every garden is specific and gives a different type of darjeeling correct me if i'm wrong so yes. we make a, a um, parallelism in europe yes. it's what we have with wine so we yes, have a exactly. specific wine in specific region and to make yes. a very common we have champagne only in france champagne yes. region yes. and you have exactly. darjeeling that's specific darjeeling same thing yes but yeah. from what i'm reading in uh, 80 degrees magazine i know that you are a tea consultant and you can actually travel around the world to teach people yes. how to grow tea so it's possible yeah. to have darjeeling outside india yeah you you will not have the original see mm. you, you, now i bring you to india you you can i cannot convert you completely indian that your italian character will remain within your system but it will be adopted so if i i am making darjeeling tea in uh, so many places i made it in uh, yunnan part i made it from erva mate in brazil can you believe <laughs> then i am making yeah i am making in sri lanka i am making in iran then in india another four places so the process darjeeling black orthodox manufacture process can be taken anywhere with the proper lift standard and the mountain area i see i see so you are actually teaching the process of cultivating yeah. tea from the very beginning yeah. to the cultivating cultivating and manufacturing i see so wow you before maybe of course before the covid situation you've been traveling a lot and yeah. Tea, yeah. Yeah, and tea is your job your passion and you are dealing with tea in every circumstance yes. but what i want to know and you know that tea lisa has a special focus which is like teaching to people to have your cup of tea with focus and to think about from where this tea is coming from so all the process that you're teaching to people it's very important so tell me when you go home after all day in the plantation teaching and working what's your relation with tea what's how you enjoy do you still enjoy tea yeah 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 see for me tea is everything first is the my parents then my tea mm. so that respect i give and tea is a prayer for me prayer. i started my like yeah, i started my career with the tea only so, so i started say in night routine for example my morning routine is i told you earlier also that i go for my warm water with honey and lime then i go after 20 or 25 minutes one apple then after 20 minutes then i go for my darjeeling tea whether it is first flush or second flush or any darjeeling tea good darjeeling tea that is what even now also see i am drinking this green tea after my dinner i always have my green tea yeah and this green. is very good for digest green tea digest. darjeeling green darjeeling for digestion green. is good. yes yeah. and what's uh, so it you are never tired of tea this is what no, you're saying no i never nobody will get tired let me tell you all these people are talking that blah 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 that tea is having caffeine if you drink late in the night you can't sleep this and that only thing you have to give yourself to 10 minutes you give to yourself then you see the fun in your system so give if you give 10 minutes, minutes yeah to yourself making darjeeling tea by yourself you Thank watch you. how the leaf is unfurling how the aroma is coming out when you are strain when the how the vapors is coming out how the oxygen is going into the cup 
and then when you sip no each sip is clearing your thoughts each sip is activating your thought process people are saying no we need a tea bag we can have a hot water we can dip it it is not see the more you make easy the more you are stress let me tell you very frankly there is no shortcut for for life also there is no shortcut for eating dinner or lunch also same way there is no shortcut of having a good tea also good tea will take your time even if you when you have a johnny walker or a champion you are giving a time no you are taking right. out bottle you are look to open it collecting the glasses creating the environment all that thing you are giving a time no but exactly. same time tea is same time tea is also asking you take out the tea put one teaspoon into the pure black water boil water brew it for 3 minutes after 3 minutes you see you can see entire your problems also your solution also and your day also you can plan your day with the cup of tea that what i am going to do Clearing and good your tea mind. Yes. clear the good aroma i can give you in writing elisa good aroma stays on your palate for 3 hours 3 hours so the tea i'm sipping now yeah. like this is dark 3 hours 3 hours it will stay on your palate so i can give if, you in writing even if like tomorrow morning i have it at 7 and then i start my work and go to work and maybe being very busy it's like sub- yeah. subconsciously the tea remain in your mouth yeah. it just it's like it's there because tell me your system gets activated you see mm-hmm. why i am telling see other day also i told you there is a life in the tea remember let people also listen and understand see out of 100 kilo we are making 23 kilo tea okay that means we are removing 77 kilo moisture yes. or say 77 kilo water let me explain this 70 so when you collect the leaf very fresh and yes. full of water yes. by drying yeah. in the drying process the leaf no 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 dry with withering there are four processes you see yes yeah so 100 kilo out of 100 kilo you make 23 kilo but you have to follow the four process mm. the first process those? is withering the first process is the withering yes then second is rolling yes. third is fermentation fourth is dryer so right. when it is a 77% moisture is there you are removing 65 to 67% moisture in the first process withering very very important process here you are doing without the leaf knowledge of the leaf you are removing 65 or 67% by your experience only there is no robots there is no computer only your palm yes. every 4 hours i have to check every 4 hours you go to the factory you check how much moisture is going and then you adjust your air management your ambient temperature and all so when you remain you if you remove 67% then 10% moisture is remain exactly. out of 77 so that 10% we need it for rolling fermenting and drying exactly. now with this 10% when it goes to the dryer with 240 degree temperature for 24 minutes 7% goes into the air and 3% remains in the tea like a life of the tea that 3% is the life aroma energy whatever you say my dear yes and this 3% moisture comes out into your cup when you brew for 3 minutes i i have goosebumps really yeah to now, think about so, the whole process yeah, is yeah. now whenever you are having a one cup of darjeeling tea you are adding 3% life into your system you are increasing 3% your mood you are increasing your thought process you are activating your thought process by 3% so right. if you have one if you have many cups just imagine yeah. that is how people are paying so high price in europe nobody is full otherwise they will not pay high price each yeah. cup give you 3% life i can give you in writing 
Wow, this it's very important. It's very important yeah. to see what's beyond and what tea can give you. It's not only caffeine and energy and power. It's life, life, like life, 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 and clear mind. And I liked also before. Thank you for this explanation. Yeah. But before you said you can plan your day in only you know, ten minutes of preparing. Ten tea, minutes. Yes. Thinking ten about minutes. this. The whole your day you can set with the tea. Yes, and uh, when we talked the first time, you said to me that there is um, a, like three really important points, which are like the human nature, which is linked to the yeah. nature of yeah. the plant and nature of the universe. Tell me more about this philosophy, your belief. It is, it, it is not actually, it is a practical thing in life, you see. People want to learn tea, people want to understand tea. People wants to join tea, you know. They are out of ten. Seven people doesn't know why they want to join. After joining also, they will say, no, we didn't understand. We didn't enjoy. Why? See, to understand tea, you have to understand three nature. Mm -hmm. The nature of the plants. Because in one plantation, average plantation is 500 acres. So... Yeah. You can, you can just imagine how many plants, tea plants are there in 500 acres. So you have to understand the nature of the plant every day, every season. Then you have to understand the human. Each plantation is having 700 workers. Permanent worker 365 days and 90% are beautiful women. And third nature is the universe nature which affects plants, nature, human, and the environment. Now, you want to learn tea or you want to understand tea, then you have to surrender your own nature to this three nature. Then yeah. only you can learn. Then only you can learn about tea. See, one life is not sufficient to understand tea and understand beautiful woman. <laughs> Right. It's what, all yeah. connected. I, I like this connection. All you know, connected. Was, One life is not enough to understand tea and the woman. When you talk to me the first time and you said, you know, I spend the real time in the plantation and the, yeah. I'm connecting with the plants and therefore I'm yeah. connecting with, with the universe. This is plant, very... Plant can speak with you. Plant can speak with you. My plants are speaking with me. My tea leaves speak with me. Because they are alive. You will like surprise. There, there yeah, no, because they are, you, you, are, you are connected. You, are, you got connected. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, now that you explained to me the process and you also yes. gave me the picture of this big plantation and we have only yeah. the 3% of, you know, what is remaining in the cup. And that also, is the life. That's yes. the life. And then you mentioned about the worker that we always forget yes. that... The tea yeah. are not coming here, you know, in our cup, in our in our bag uh, no. alone. But the hard, work. Are, hard work, hard yes. work. Yes, and I my image of, of Darjeeling is in the books are always these women with these baskets uh, collecting mm -hmm. the the leaves, mm -hmm. and we always have to remember about these great workers, uh, especially in your region. And um, yeah, I think that the takeaway for tonight is this thinking about what's in your cup, this 3% of life. This is a beautiful yes. concept. And then you can yes. really sip and drink it and to clarify your mind. And I can give you, I can give you guarantee, Elisa, that if you drink tea the way I explain it, mm. you just see the fun. You take 10 people every day, make them drinking tea, and then you ask their opinion at the end of the day. How was their day? Let's do it. Let's, let's plan yeah, some, I'm, I'm, some event. People have, wrong, yeah, people have wrong concept about Darjeeling tea. And they are also not wrong because you see another problem is Darjeeling is only 87 tea plantation and making very little quantity like your original champion in France. But in the market, how many bottles of champions are available? Exactly. Similar with Darjeeling also. Duplicate Darjeeling is also available. So that is why there is there. But even though 
any tea now if people who are listening this or who are watching this program they should have to think that whether what i drink it will reflect in the if it reflect in the cup because if tea is not if tea is not made properly in the factory there is no life that tea is bagged up thank you for this beautiful concept thank you very My much pleasure. you know My i pleasure. want this chat to last 20 minutes uh, at least mm-hmm. uh, like a cup of tea because there is no need to really spend a lot of time but consistent time 10 minutes yes. to have a beautiful and this conversation was a really a 3% of life that i got mm-hmm. from from you directly thank you, thank you very thank much you. I will mm. ask to my followers if they are interesting to know more about tea because no now we have a master and we can yeah. teach them to to brew tea in a fantastic way. You know, I wanted to thank you for teaching me because I've got this tea as I said to you here in Milan in the shop yes. uh, you know called the man you know it and I thank my friend for giving me it and thank you to you I could make it perfect. No astringent Thank no, you so much. it was like totally round and it's, you yes. know, it's, I changed my mind because before drinking Darjeeling first flush, I usually say, ah, no, it's not my cup of tea because it's astringent. But, because you didn't make it properly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is the But thank you uh, for that. And thank you for opening my mind and these beautiful concepts. My okay. pleasure. My pleasure. You are most Let's, welcome. Thank, thank you so you. much. Bye-bye. Let's bye-bye. keep in touch. Bye. Bye. Sure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you everybody Bye. for tonight. I will save you.